Hello and welcome to an agricultural episode of Go on Shaw TV. Now, it's what we're known for here in the Upper Fraser Valley, flat land that grows excellent food. But of course, growing and harvesting that food isn't easy. And over the past century, farmers have been using all sorts of different equipment to help them out. So to understand what they used to use, I've come to the Achilles Threshermen's Association for a walk through the past. Looking back, let's start the show off with heritage homes. In Chilliwack, we're really rather fortunate to have so many dotting our neighborhoods. But the problem is when neglect and bad tenants make them fall into a state of disrepair. It can make it seem like there's no hope when in fact there may be lots of hope. Four six zero six four Princess Avenue is one of those houses that just fell out of glory. After former owner Gene Woods moved out, it took a downward slope to condemnation. I just miss it. I, for a long time, I didn't come down this road, and then, then I did, and it, it was all boarded up. You know, it just was. My heart was hurting. There was a massive fire upstairs, and all the furniture and everything was still there. So it was, it was kind of like a horror movie. But um, it, was, it was very interesting because just seeing how other people were living and, and how rough it was, right? And yet, that didn't stop the Gore brothers from buying the house and healing it. They saw something in it. But what? Well, let's see by rewinding back a bit. The house was built in 1911 by a Melvin George Fadden. In fact, he built both of these twin houses. Their Eaton catalog homes, which were all the rage in the early 20th century. As unromantic as it sounds, this house was basically built to make money. And it's also why it's being renovated too, because this sort of thing is the Gore Brothers shtick. We look for the, the most work houses. The houses that nobody else wants is what, is what we look for, right? We've just always kind of done that. So we've got extreme places, the, the most extreme places you could ever think of. And that is a great thing. Which leads us back to Jean, who loved this house the moment she set eyes on it. Oh, but look at the floor. I wanted that the whole time I lived here. We, we stayed, believe it or not, in the Empress. In those days, the Empress was the place to be. And we had a window that looked out at the house. So I think I must have spent an hour and a half just sitting looking at my house. I, I think it was the permanency of it. It felt like it had been there, which it had. Yeah, and it, because I'm English, it reminded me of homes that I had over in England. I just loved it. I can't explain it. It was an inner feeling that I loved this house. And in the 30 years that she and her family lived in it, it became so much more than just a building. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a beautiful home. When you walk in the door, it has a feeling of this is your home. Well, we had our 25th wedding anniversary there, and we also celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary in the same house and the kids all coming home for Christmas. Because having been a military family, we hadn't really stayed anywhere longer than three or four years at a time. So you can imagine when you get your roots down in the ground, man, you're not gonna pull them out again. She is so into the house and she loves it here. So hearing about all her little stories and stuff was just it kind of uh, inspiring to keep us going, right? And to finish a job, do a good job. Well, I used to like to lay here and look out at night because the moon goes right across there. While the Fadden House is an inanimate object, it's steeped in character. And that character comes from the marks left by the people who occupied the space and created their own memories in it. You know, those stories that come from everyday life. And isn't that something worth preserving? Just to think that somebody's going to live in it again and it's going to be a home for someone. You'll have me crying any second now. <laughs> I'm so happy. I couldn't be any happier about anything than that. No kidding. This may not be the worst home the Gore brothers have renovated, but it's one whose value is proving to be far more than dollars and cents. In Chilliwack, I'm Jonathan Horst for Go on Shaw TV.